we are proof that they cannot keep these children safe. Tarina Neal is not mincing words when it comes to having her boys doing anything at school. The county health department announced the outbreak involving student athletes that her foster son is a part of. Now she says the whole family of seven has the virus. We have kind of varying degrees or severity of cases. Her 15 year old was only a few days into both basketball and football conditioning sessions at Hood River Valley High School when he tested positive for COVID-19. She says she, her husband, and five foster kids were all being so careful, but they allowed the 15-year-old to go work out. The fact that in a sporting event where children are outside a good portion of the time, they're in smaller groups, tells me we can't do it. It's too soon. It's too soon. We can't do it. And they need to listen to that. Superintendent Rich Polkinghorne is concerned. He says the school was following all the guidelines, taking temperatures, sanitizing, small groups, and social distancing. I don't know that we could have been any more careful, you know, and, and uh, it just, it's, it sort of reinforces the same thing, you know, we've all heard about this virus is that it's, um, uh, stealthy, you know, um, it, it can be asymptomatic. You don't know you're sick. You can spread it easily. The high school has shut down practices for 14 days. And on Tuesday, the health department recommended that all sports groups not meet until at least August 2nd. It also said, quote, the increasing rate of infection in Hood River County should be a concern for all of us. That's because any type of gathering anywhere can cause greater community spread right through town. As for Tarina Neal, she says she's got a lot of support locally and beyond. My, um, Post on Facebook has been shared over 350 times in several different states. Her position is there's no way to safely have in-person learning this fall. There is absolutely no way possible I will be sending my kids back to school. Um, and, and school definitely needs to be shut down. And this is why school just, we just need to close to protect these kids. The superintendent says um, he's listening. Mind, we keep planning forward knowing that um, School's going to look different in the fall no matter what. For now, the superintendent says they're making plans for all options from a full reopening of school to no in-person learning at all. But like most superintendents, he says it's too soon to decide. Tim Gordon, KGW News.